I'm Dr. Rosanna Mauro and I'm going to present you a case of um, a cataract, traumatic cataract um, operated 20 years ago with PMMA uh, IOL. The patient um, was not happy and uh, came for improvement, uh, if it's possible, for the improvement of the cosmetic uh, appearance. Uh, we decided to, um, to see if it is a case to explant or not the IOL. Uh, the patient also had a yak capsulotomy with a lot of uh, yak punctures uh, of the IOL. Uh, anyway, we should uh, remove uh, the um, uh, fibrotic tissue, which was white and made uh, our patient unhappy. And in the same time, uh, we needed to uh, make the pupil more round um, to improve the cosmetic result. We tried to, to, to open uh, the bag uh, gently under uh, metal cellulose and with very gentle and fine maneuvers um, we rotated the IOL until we took out uh, the superior haptic. Uh, we put it uh, on the iris. Now we tried to um, detach but it was not possible to detach it with a spatula so we decided to cut it with the fine scissors. The most important uh, synechia, which is between the iris and the um, uh, IOL optic. And now we do the same maneuver for the inferior haptic with very gentle rotation um, uh, movements. Uh, we managed to uh, took out from this uh, closed fibrotic bag uh, the, the inferior haptic and put it on the iris. We continue with the uh, cutting of the um, hole anterior and posterior uh, capsule, which were stuck together and uh, fibrotic. You can see this white tissue was uh, done, um, was a result of the um, both uh, anterior and posterior capsule stuck together. And uh, now we continue with the vitrectomy and the aspiration of the thick cortex remain in the periphery of the uh, former bag. Um, at this point, of course, you have to play uh, with the foot pedal and to switch between the uh, vitrectomy mode and IA cutter mode. Um, and uh, the vitrectomy mode, uh, in the vitrectomy mode, you should go lower with the vitrectomy rate up to 500 to 300 cuts per minute uh, because the, the cortex is quite uh, thick. And when you go to the vitreous cutting and aspiration, you can go higher with the vitreous cut rate. Once the vitreous is clean in a certain uh, area, uh, you should move on the IA cutter, in which the um, foot pedal at step two um, is the aspiration and the cutter is only in the step three of the foot pedal. Um, it's quite difficult. The remnants, the cortex remnants are very thick. Uh, I managed to bring them uh, by aspiration, um, to bring them from the periphery to the center of the, of, the, of the pupil. I'm keeping the IOL there for two reasons. Uh, first is that uh, it was um, kept like, um, Backup, maybe it will not be needed to be explanted and to implant a new one. Maybe we, we can um, re-implant this one. Uh, and second, for um, a protection against the falling of the nuclear species posteriorly. Now we check very carefully the periphery and we notice that there is a peripheral rim of anterior and posterior capsule uh, stuck together. But um, we also notice that this IOL had uh, was small in sizes, 5 mm the optic part and only 12 mm um, the length. So we decided to explant it. Uh, unfortunately, because it's a PMMA lens, we had to enlarge the, um, the um, a limbal incision at uh, 5.5 uh, millimeters and we decided to implant a three pieces IOL um, which is um, uh, longer 13 millimeters the length and 6 millimeter optic part since we already had a non large incision we prefer to implant it unfolded although it is it's a foldable lens but when you implant it unfolded you have much more control of, of, on the implantation 
And in this case, we really needed a lot of control because the peripheral capsular rim is quite small. And we also have a synechia at three o'clock, a synechia between the iris and the capsule, and we need to avoid that area. The IOL uh, lies very well centered behind the iris. Uh, we wash the o OVD and under air we try to pull a bit the iris in the um, 12 o'clock position, uh, hoping that the pupil will be um, more round, let's say, and a bit uh, lower. And my thought was that uh, if uh, we don't obtain the, the best result uh, in terms of uh, aesthetic, um, uh, we can put uh, later on a suture uh, on the on the pupil. When the pupil is under my madriatics, it looks quite round and okay, well centered. The IOL is well centered behind the iris. But when the pupil is without madriatics, you can just so that the, the the pupil is a bit uh, high. But the patient was very happy, and the visual acuity improved from 0.4 to 0.9. Point nine. Thank you.